It says, look at what he says. Let's go to verse 45. What time? What time I got? Woo! All right, look. Verse four, let's jump. Go to verse 45. That you may be children. I need you to hear this tonight. Look at, look at this. Look at this with me. That you may be children of your father in heaven. This is what he's saying. Jesus is saying, for you to be your father's child. Watch this. You need to look like him. You got to act like him. They slap your cheek, hand them the other. That's what your God is telling you. That's what our God, our God is telling us. That's what that looks like. Look, you, you slap. Watch this. Jesus says, wait a minute. You slap me. You tore my beard out. I hand you my other. Because I realize that what you need, watch this, is bigger than the temporary discomfort that you caused me. Woo! What you need is bigger than the temporary discomfort that you just caused me. See, see, I got to know that that person is worth me hanging in there. I got to know that that person is worth me still praying for. I got to know that that person, that they're worth it because they're just used as a tool. And when the enemy is done using them, they, he just going to throw them to the side like an old dish rag. He don't care nothing about them. He trying to get hallelujah to the glory of God in us that we would not hallelujah show forth the praise of him who delivered us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yes, it's just a big setup by the enemy, but you be wise. And even if you are discomforted, it's a moment. It's only for a moment. And Jesus says, I want you to get like me. I want you to think like me. He says, let this mind be in you. It was also in me. Think like me, look like me, act like me. Watch this, become me. That's what he's saying. Let's go back to 45. Matthew 5, 45. Watch this. That you may be children of your father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and reign and send rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. This is what he's saying. I'm going to bless them all. I'm going to be good to them all. I'm going to provide for them all. I'm going to allow it to happen to all. It says, now if I'm God and I bless all, even when I know they're unjust, even when I know they're unrighteous, even when I know they don't have no love for me. I rain on them all. Sun fire on, goes up on top of all of them. He said, that's what I want you. That's what I want out of you. I want your life to look the same. I want you to treat the one that you know don't like you. I want to treat, I, let, let the sun go, let, let, it, let your love fly all over. I want the one that you know just talked about, just scandalized on that. I want you to love on them all. I want you to love them just like you love the one that just bought you a new pair of shoes. I want you, look, 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 this is what God is saying. I'm God. I'm your father. This is what I do. I love them all. I let rain hit on the just as well as the unjust. My, my son hits on all of them. He said, this is what I want out of your life. Be consistent, even with your enemy. Well, what does that do? How can that profit me for me to be nice and be kind to folk that you love? God, you know they don't mean me no good. God, you know if they had an opportunity, they bring me down. God, you know that they're going to kill me. They're going to stab me in my back. This is what he, tell, he lets us know. There's a reward. I want somebody to hear me tonight. If you don't hear nothing else, there's a reward. Don't you ever think that there's not a reward for the righteous. Don't you ever think that God don't repay. Yes, he does. Look at this next scripture. Look at the next scripture. Watch this. Get the wisdom. Listen, listen. Let me get there. Let me get there. 46. If you love those who love you, what reward would you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? What is he saying? Jesus is saying this. 
If you love people that love you, ain't no reward for that. You already got your reward. That's easy. But this is what he said. Get the wisdom. But if you by divine instruction love the one that hurts you, love the one that cussed you, love the one that lied on you, love the one that's stabbing you in your back, even right now, love them. Love them with the love of God. Love them with, well, out of your heart. Love them with pureness. There's a reward. God is going to bless you. I need you to get this in your mind. It ain't about them. Set yourself up. <laughs> My God, tonight I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen, set yourself up. Well, how, how do I how do I set myself up? Because I'm gonna give to somebody what I know in my natural mind they really don't deserve, but in my spirit I have already considered I don't deserve it either. It's because of his mercies that are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. It's because of the sacrifice of my sovereign Lord and King that I have what I have. It's not because I'm good, dot every I, cross every T. It's not because, because, because I'm wonderful. It's because my God is wonderful. It's because he forgave me. If y'all would have seen me just 15 years ago. If y'all would have seen me. Hallelujah. Just 15 years ago. If y'all would have seen me. I was a mess from head to toe. On my way to hell. Cursing God with everything I was doing. Had backslid and was doing what I thought was my thing. And how am I now going to get saved? Look at somebody where I was. Look down on them and then have a reason not to love them. The devil is a lot. Well, what we have to do in this hour is start letting the church be the church. I'm talking about real church. I ain't talking about this stuff we do for zeal and feel. I'm talking about love that changes people. Love that makes somebody know there's hope if you just hang on in there. Let somebody know that there's joy and there's peace on the other side of this. Let somebody know that I used to be where you are and if God can deliver me, if God can change me, if God can sanctify me, he can do it for you. If he can take that thing I was smoking on and, and cast it out. If God can change my clothes and make me know who I am and what I am in him, he can do it for you. And we don't need to be condemning nobody to hell. Everybody know if they don't live right, they're going to hell. That ain't no good news, but we bring good news. What is good news? That he loved you. What is good news? That he died for you. What is good news? That he wants you to come just like you are and he got the power to change you from the inside out. Somebody say amen.